All right, I'm on uh, East Main, uh, just east of High Street, and I'm going to Capital University this morning. Capital is a total of six miles from our house in Victorian Village. The main problem with this uh, going into the sun will be difficult to get good shots, so I might click it off until we get to the university, which is in another four miles, I'm guessing. So that'd be a lot of uh, video into the sun, but I'll determine that here in a few minutes. So the sun is still low enough. I think I can get enough shots from the shadows just like this. So it shouldn't be too bad, but just that direct into the sun is, it's not an appealing shot for the viewer. All right, so let me give you some background. I lived here in the mid eighties. I actually applied and started to attend Capital University MBA school. That was the thing to do in the 80s, get an MBA. <laughs> it was like indie rock of the 90s. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I went for like one semester. It'd be interesting to get my transcripts if there are any. I'm not sure if I finished it even out that first quarter or semester. Scoop me up! He was gonna scoop me up in the scoop! <laughs> I was gonna get scooped! Alright, I believe we've just crossed into Bexley. And uh, this is the neighborhood where Capital University is. That's uh, the Alum Creek Trail. There's Alum Creek. Uh, that's the trail we were on yesterday. Or not yesterday, the day before. There's the creek. Still going after all these years. I remember when I was a boy going down that creek on a on an empty barrel. All right, there's Capital University across the street. I'm gonna go over there and uh, ride around. How does that sound? Does that sound exciting? <laughs> Can you imagine this seminary was established in 1830? That's just a long time ago, man. We're coming up on 200 years of that place. All right, well, Capital University chartered in 1850. Really? Wow, that was before Ohio State. I think the first graduating class of Ohio State was like, a, like 1878 or something like that. Uh, the guy that owned the art that was the core of the exhibition yesterday, the Picasso exhibition at the Columbus Museum of Art, he was uh, in the first graduating class at Ohio State.
Hmm, that would know that, right? The advantage of the schools like this have is they're in the city. So, if people want to do continuing education, you know, I'm just going to turn around here. I don't think that leads anywhere. Uh, you know, the school like Ohio U in Athens is challenged because professionals can't easily, they can online now, but they can't easily participate in classes on site. And uh, schools are looking for non-traditional students because of declining enrollment.